You know, it's a pleasure to have Senator Tom Cotton. I've gotten to know him. He's a very, very good man. He's a man of his word. He's very honorable, and he's a family man. So uh, he wanted to come on, and I wanted him to come on to discuss the situation with two of his constituents in Arkansas. And that would be the four-year-old granddaughter of Joe Biden, the daughter of Hunter Biden, and the young lady that gave birth to the uh, four-year-old. Senator, how are you, and, and what do you know about this? Well, Mark, it's good to be on with you. Um, I saw your remarks last night on television about this, and you're dead on. Uh, the way the Biden family, not just Hunter, but Joe and Joe Biden, have treated this little girl is indecent and disgraceful. I think we all know Hunter Biden's history here. Um, I mean, he hid from process servers for months in the summer of 2018. First time I heard about this case, again, because uh, the mother of his child is in Arkansas, the child's in Arkansas as well. Once he finally was served process and he denied paternity, he took a DNA test and it's established beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's the father. Um, he and uh, the mother reached a settlement. Uh, they agreed in court in 2020, and he was the one that came in last year and reopened the settlement, Mark. This is not the mother who's coming back and reopening the case that she settled. This is Hunter Biden, and what is he doing? He is pleading poverty. He's saying that he can't support his own child because of financial hardship. Mark, remember, this is at a time when Hunter Biden is selling his finger pain, painting to his dad's donors and patrons for hundreds of thousands of dollars each. He's living in luxurious mansions all around the country. He's driving fancy cars. He's riding on Air Force One, cavorting with the president in Ireland on a big family reunion trip. Uh, it's Joe Biden, or I'm sorry, it's Hunter Biden, uh, who started this latest iteration of the lawsuit. And, and as the uh, mother's lawyer made the point in court just the other day, all you have to do is look at his lawyer's table. I mean, they have a phalanx of lawyers there who charge hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars of hours. Abby Lowell, a Washington, D.C. celebrity mm -hmm. lawyer, probably charges more on an hourly rate than most Arkansans pay on their monthly mortgage. But Yeah, he's about, he's, he's probably... And, He's probably $1,200 an hour, that guy, something yeah. like that. And you'd probably be lucky to get him at that rate, Mark. Mm -hmm. And Joe Biden and Joe Biden consistently refuse to even acknowledge this little girl's existence. Look, I understand this is probably what no one expected or planned for. But Joe Biden, as recently as just a couple weeks ago, once again was celebrating his six grandchildren. Joe Biden has seven grandchildren that he refuses to acknowledge it. At Christmas time, Mark, they hang six stockings over the White House chimney fireplace, not seven. They even hang a stocking for their dog and for their cat, but not for their seventh grandchild. Is it really too much for them to ask, despite the uh, difficult circumstances here, for them to at least acknowledge their own flesh and blood, to reach out to the mother and try to make some effort to be a supporting and caring and loving part of their grandchild's life? At consistent with her wishes and her expectations, of course, as the custodial parent. Uh, I don't think that's too much to ask. What they're actually doing, what the Biden smear machine is doing, is deeply unfair to the mother as well. You know, if you listen to Joe Biden's political operatives talking on background and media, they would make it seem like, oh, this is only a one-night stand. And, you know, Hunter wrote about this in his memoir and did TV interviews about it. I, did, I denied paternity because... I was in, you know, a drunken and cocaine-addled rage. Um, so I can't remember anything. But the contents of his laptop make clear that this was not some random one-night stand. It was an ongoing relationship, personal and professional, since she was on the payroll of one of his fake companies for up to 18 months, if not more really? than that. Um, so absolutely, st starting in the spring of 2017, the laptop makes clear that uh, Hunter's girlfriend, I guess you'd call her, his deceased brother's widow, with whom he was in a romantic relationship, started getting angry because of his relationship with this uh, constituent of mine in Arkansas. Um, the child was born, and I'm sorry, the child was conceived in late 2017. There's reports that they even met, and Hunter heard the ultrasound before totally, totally ghosting the mother of his own child, but she was on the payroll receiving health insurance through one of his 
uh, front companies at least until the fall of 2018. That's over 18 months, Mark, and it probably is a lot longer. That Hunter Biden has been out there lying, and Joe Biden's political operatives have been out there lying as well about the nature of their relationship, all for political gain, all at the expense of the well-being of a little girl. You know what's amazing about this, Senator Cotton? I didn't know any of this. It's not really being published anywhere, is it? Certainly not on the East Coast. No. So, of course, the, the, only, the only two outlets that I've consistently seen try to cover this but be stonewalled by the Biden political machine is the New York Post and the Daily Mail. I mean, they've gone so far, Mark, as to ask a very basic question of uh, the president's mouthpiece, the White House press secretary. How many grandchildren does the president have? They won't even answer that basic factual question. And, of course, the media, as always, is acting like a phalanx of bodyguards around Joe Biden and his family because they're afraid that if the American people knew that half the truth, a quarter of the truth about the Biden family, that there's no chance he can be reelected in 2024. And they've got to man man the ramparts to make sure that uh, uh, Donald Trump or the Republican nominee for 2024 has no chance to beat Joe Biden. You know, Senator Cotton, I think of the little girl, precious little girl, four years old. She's brought into the world, really doesn't matter how. Her father won't even acknowledge her. Her grandfather, the president of the United States, won't even acknowledge her. This has to have an effect on a four-year-old, and it certainly have an effect on this, this child when she gets older, right? Well, it's a, like I said, it's a very sad circumstance. Uh, I'm sure that this is not what anyone planned for. But as you say, Mark, um, she is an innocent child. None of us were able to choose our parents or the circumstances of our birth. Uh, all we deserve, all any child does, is the love of their family and their loved ones. Um, and, and it's certainly the case that this latest round of publicity is entirely, entirely due to Hunter Biden coming back into court, pleading poverty, trying to reduce his child support for his own child at a time when he's selling his finger paintings for hundreds of thousands of dollars. If he had not done that last fall, we might not have heard of this story at all. But now it's a spectacle once again because Hunter Hunter Biden refuses to live up to his own agreed-upon settlement. And he didn't even want to show up personally in court. He just wanted the judge to rule on his behalf. And thankfully, this judge said, no, you're going to come here, you're going to make your case, and and you're going to show me some documents. Yeah, that's right, Mark. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a circuit judge in Independence County, Arkansas, no doubt does dozens of cases like this every year. Typically, the clients don't have to show up. Hunter Biden's the one that went in last fall and reopened the case. It was proceeding, she said, normally until about January, and then Hunter Biden began to treat this judge just like he treats the mother of his child and his child. He totally ignored her, never responded to anything, no depositions, no interrogatory responses, no nothing. So finally, she got fed up and said clients are no longer excused from attending. So that's why he had to attend last week, and that's why they're now one would hope on track to actually get to trial in July if they don't settle. Again, also Hunter Biden at a time when he's selling finger paintings for hundreds of thousands of dollars to his dad's donors can get out of paying child support. You know, Mark, rather than putting the family through all this, why didn't Hunter Biden just go to all of his patrons, the people are, who are putting him up in their mansions or paying for his luxury cars or for that matter, paying Abby Lowell and that phalanx of lawyers and just ask them to pay the child support. Well, you're right. A hundred percent. Senator Tom Cotton, I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for revealing more information that I know to millions and millions of people. And uh, we'll talk soon, sir. Thank you, Mark. Good to be on with you. God bless. Be well.